What's up, everybody? It's your boy Gabriel, and that was me three years ago. Out of shape, always tired, letting myself go, you know. I would come home, want to go to sleep. Not, I didn't really eat poorly too much, but I just wasn't being active, you know. And I started to look in the mirror and not like what I saw, you know. I look at myself. I've always been a confident person, but definitely felt like I wasn't me. But the good thing is I know inside of me I, I could change that. So I wanted to get dedicated and go into the gym and change my lifestyle around, you know. I've always played basketball, I've always been athletic, but it wasn't doing much. I was getting older, so the fat was starting to stay and not leaving, as you can see there. You know, I got a little guns there, but you can see the little belly fat. Definitely wasn't happy with myself. So, you know, I decided to go to the gym heavy. You know, one month in, you know, you can see the good things. The cool thing about fitness, you know, changing your lifestyle up is you get into shape and that you might not get that six pack right away, but you get that little, one little thing, that little muscle definition, that little strength boost, you know, get to get heavier in weight, go higher, go stronger, you know, one of those little things that keeps you going, you know. If you think about it, just wanna get in a six pack, that's not realistic to get in one month, two months, even a year, right? So it takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication. You see me doing the deadlifts here, you know, not the best, not the best form, you know, I'm still newbie into this stuff, you know. But definitely pushing myself good thing i was around people that helped me out and pushed me made sure that i did what i had to do to continue to get stronger a couple months in now you're seeing a little bit more cuts more definition here me trying to do an ab you know ab bro definitely not doing it the right way you know but a lot of trial and error having fun with it so yeah once you start you know you start getting into it real good you understand that it takes a lot of patience a lot of hard work dedication consistency you know, if you stop, you could lose everything you get right away. You see the sweat there. I was always putting in work in the gym. Definitely, it was like my meditation spot. You know, I go in there, put my work in, know I'm making myself better. It, it felt like if I got that done, at least I got something done with the day. You know, I felt real accomplished. And day by day, you get strong, you get more confident, you know. And about me, I said, I like to learn as while I'm going along with it, right? Trial and error, I said earlier. But also, I was doing a lot of research. I was online studying it, looking at it asking people questions that were stronger than me they was putting me on game so i never was alone on it you know i was always searching and searching to get better improve myself never felt complacent never wanted to be complacent even if i saw progress you know i wanted more and more and more and more you know and that's what's crazy about it you know i never i knew i was gonna get here but you know it's one thing to know you're gonna do something but then to actually do it and if the type of feeling you get the type of confidence you have within yourself it makes you feel like you can accomplish anything, you know. You see me putting the work in. And let me know, you guys see me doing all these different type of exercises. If you'd like to know what, what were my favorite exercises or the best workouts I did to get there. You see me doing the landmines. You see me flexing. You see the cuts coming in. You see the, the definition. So that was that first year. I felt really good about it. I was happy with myself. I definitely wanted more. You know, definitely a lot of trial and error, having fun with it. Not strict diet, though. I definitely could have done better knowing what I know now. But I definitely got stronger, and that was the goal. Boost my confidence and to take it to the next level. So that's what I did. So everything I did that first year basically prepared me for the pandemic. You know, uh, it was one of the harder times in my life, I, in the life for everybody, you know. And I was still blessed, you know, to maintain my health. My family was healthy, but you know, for that brief moment when it started, I was confused, didn't know what to do. They closed out the gyms, a little bit depressed. I didn't want to lose everything I gained, but you know, that whole year that I had, that first year, it put my mind on a different time, you know? So I got dedicated again, started mapping out a routine that I could do at home, looking online, studying, doing research. And every day I would do workout after work. You know, I was working remotely. I would work out after my after work and then I would run. You know, I was consistent. You know, I'm a cut down. I'm a do the best I can. And I learned a lot, did a lot of YouTube videos. You know, all the people that I admire that worked out, I would watch them, study them, look at certain exercises they did. You know, I would go on hiking trips. You saw that picture, even with a 40 pound vest on. You know, I was cutting down quick. A lot of water, you know, being good. The good thing about staying home was that I was getting a lot of home cooked meals drinking a lot of water. I wasn't going out, eating dirty. Shout out to my boy, Joey, he was there with me. We did a lot of running. I did a lot of running. As you can see, five months, I cut down tremendously. The cut, the skinniest I've ever been, you know, before quarantine, I was like 184 pounds, and I ended up cutting down to 164 pounds. So, you know, the bright spot, the silver lining of quarantine, you know, I ended up going down in weight, in terms of the weights I was lifting. So my form on everything got better, and I got more comfortable and getting uncomfortable, you know, I really challenged myself, pushed myself 
two years in, you know, going to this gym, I ended up just bulking up like crazy, getting stronger. I still wasn't on the best in terms of, you know, knowing how much to eat, my diet. I still wasn't doing my best on in terms of dieting. All I know was eating greens in terms of vegetables and making sure I got protein in and drinking a lot of water and stay away from like sweets, sugars and stuff like that. I finally got my muscle up in and now I could do them like it's nothing, you know. So it comes a lot of hard work and dedication. And if I could do it, guys, you guys can do it too. You know, but you gotta have a passion. You gotta take away distractions. You gotta get disciplined. Here, here I'm doing four pounds again. I'm mean four plates again. You know, 60 pounds on the hammer curls. So you get more confident. You start doing more different weights. You start getting more efficient. And you get hungrier, man. I'm telling you, it doesn't stop. Once you seek success, it's like anything you do. If Me, I love playing basketball too. Once I see a ball go through now, I wanna keep shooting, you know? So it's the same exact feeling how I get going to the gym. Two years and almost three years in right now, we're going in. You see I'm active, body getting right, back nice, you know what I'm saying? And I'm only getting better. Finally got up to five place this year. And, you know, sky's the limit, guys. I want you guys to always stay active. You know, you see me with my bros. We always activate. Let me know if you want me to tell you more tips and tricks on how I got my journey and where I got to where I got to today. You know, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy. And if I can do it, trust me, you can. Leave a comment down below on anything you need help with and what would you guys like to ask me for the next video. You already know, it's your boy Gabriel. Stay active.